Let's lock on to it and let's get out of here. Another ship. Landing gear retracted. Long as nobody hits you while you're coming out or going in, you're good. Let's jump. Frameshift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Okay, uh, we'll restart the, vi the video once we get there. All right, arriving in the conflict zone. We're going to go with the Crimson Fortune Industries. Sidewinders, there we go. Get my weapons out. What a mess. Take a little sidewinder down, would you? Bye bye. Target destroyed. Okay, what's next? Ooh, a federal dropship. This should be fun. Hello. Yeah, I see you. Don't know if I'm ready for this fight, but hopefully, it didn't focus on me. His shields are almost done. Come on, get the shields down. Shields Messing with my pips here. I guess I shouldn't do that while I'm in combat. Or maybe I should. Maybe we should do it more often. That's probably the answer right there. It is not a fast ship. Just staying on top of them, taking the hole down. Yeah, I know. Not for long. Finish him off. Oh, hello. Damn. I got to get rid of you. I got someone on my ass. 17%. 12%. 10. The multi cannons work some wonders, I tell you that. Finish them. Finish them. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm going after this guy. Oh, he's, he's too far away. It's a python. Oh, shit. I think he hit me. That was unpleasant. Took some shield damage.
Yeah, I use gimbaled weapons. And he's got, uh, he's got some chaff he's using. It's alright, chaff won't last long. Chaff throws off the sensors in my gimbals. But for me, it's better than trying to aim manually. It's a lot more effort. His shields are almost gone. Come on, come on, take those shields down. I'm gonna finish you now. Damn, he's using, uh... Fragment cannons on me. That's what those are. I was wondering what that was. That's what it looks like, anyway. Thank God I've got shields up. Come on, come on. I gotta finish them off before my shields go out. Fifteen percent. Five percent. Just keep the laser on him. Where are all these big ships coming from? I was expecting to fight small ships. I got two more kills I gotta do. I'm gonna head back into the combat zone and we will charge the shields up here. Target shields offline. Target shields offline. Oop, well, I didn't necessarily mean to do that. Target shields offline. Shields online. Thank God. He's fast. He's already at four kilometers. Under attack. Yeah, he's doing a strafe and run. Come on, come on. Under attack. Ah, missed a shot. I got you. Multi guns to finish you off. 
fairly easily. Who are you? Well, I'm gonna make a run for it. Go, go, go! Alright, just took an immediate exit out of the combat zone. This is the first time I've been into a combat zone, so this is actually pretty fun. It's a lot more uh, painful than uh, than I expected. From what I read, the low intensity is supposed to have the small ships. You know, the Sidewinders, the Eagles, and the Cobras. But uh, then I come out with these uh, Pythons. Now, the Python. It's like a fifty million dollar machine. Hell, I paid three hundred and seventy thousand for this one. And the anacondas, like a hundred and fifty million dollars. Those are the bad of the bad. I'm gonna boost in, and uh, I'll unpause the video once we get there. Okay, here we go. Python, another Python. 100% shields, two kilometers away. We'll close on him a little bit. Ah, and there he comes. Shields are going down. Almost, almost got him. Come on, charge back up. Yeah, I mean, the beams are cool, but I think they burn a lot of juice. A lot more. It's probably, it probably might be better to stick with, like, a pulse laser or a burst laser. I guess perhaps it depends on preference. Just tend to loot, run out of energy well, with, the, uh, with the beams quite often. They generate a lot of heat and use a lot of power. Come on, come on. It beat you down. Sixty eight percent and counting. Come on, guys, we can use a little help here. Reload, reload, come on guns, go. Love having my own machine guns, I tell you that. Hello! Looks like I got some help. Look at him go, look at him go, he's just flipping. Big ships aren't that fast, so it's kind of the way they do it. I love to watch the Anacondas fight. Alright, that should be it for my contract. Yeah, collect payment. Gotta go back to Beta Hydra, but uh, before I do... I 
go dock here. Uh, Kaku Terminal. Alright. Well, you're close. How close? Oh, you're real close. Cannot comply. Yeah, Ready yeah, yeah. Got to put my weapons away before I before I jump. Ready to engage. Look, they've even got lights on the dark side of the planet with where the cities are. I, I guess that's what that's supposed to be. Yeah, I was brought in in uh, like system LHS 34 something or other. Fairly about 15 light years or so from uh, maybe 20 from Seoul. So close to Earth basically as we know it. And they've got uh, different government types so I went ahead and uh, started getting reputation with the Federation. Now they've got the Empire and the Alliance. Um, I've seen a couple of Empire systems so if I really need to find them, I can, but I have no clue where where the alliance is. Absolutely not. I suppose I will eventually run into them. There's a funny thing with the uh, with the shields on the on the right hand side. I've got the pips for the system engine and the weapons uh, in reverse order, and uh, that's basically your capacitor. Whoops! Well, don't do that. And the more pips you have in weapons, the faster the capacitor charges, so you can burn uh, weapon charges off a lot faster. If you put a lot more in weapons. Oh, 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 oh. My bad. Hope nobody's behind me. I forgot to request clearance. Scan detected. As often as I've done this, you'd think I would remember denied. every single time. Three seconds. All right. So they're pretty serious about uh, trespass, and if you think they're serious about trespass, you should check out their loitering policy. If you loiter, you get shot. I'm serious. Close enough. All right, let's get repaired, reloaded, and contacts. I'm gonna collect my bonds. Pay my fine, of course. One hundred eighteen thousand in war bonds. So that was pretty good. That's decent money for that. 
Yeah, let's see if I'm gonna check the bulletin board for any missions going home. Um, beta Hydri, look for Beta Hydri. Space Dusters. Nope. Nope. Ah, big bounty. Carry signal decrypting message retrieve. Commander, I have an assassination mission for you. Conrad Lorenz, if you're interested. The freebooter has been responsible for some of the most heinous crimes we have here. You might have to break some system laws, and the people I represent don't need the kind of reputation. Get the job done, and you'll make yourself a tidy profit. This guy is worth 150,000 dead. And I'm kind of guessing he's probably in a really big ship. Um, and of course, I'm not going to take it with this ship. Alright, just check my trade routes. It looks like... Oop, let's see what kind of ships he's got here. Sidewander, that's what you start with. And 40 shields, 60 armor. Now that's a transport, 76 million dollars for, a million credits for a transport. A small transport, a hauler. Type 6, that's a million. Type 7, oh, there's a lot of transporters here. And that is the ship that, uh, that I'm in right now, the Cobra. Okay, they don't have anything interesting here, really. Go to the commodities market, and it looks like... Beta Hydri needs uh, animal meat. So let's find some food. There it is. Might as well. I'm going back there anyway. Car running around the tracks there. This is so cool. If you're a space fan at all, you will absolutely love this freaking game. I've been looking for woo hello. Been looking for a good space game for a long time. You know, years back I played Eve, but it was so lacking. You know, I mean they had some cool features in Eve. But I ran into an issue where I couldn't go anywhere unless I was in like a group because there would just be an enormous amount of people just blocking off stations and entrances. I mean, if you didn't have your own group, you were stuck in, in these small systems. You couldn't do anything. So they, they forced you, basically. Uh, back to Beta Hydri. All right, jump, jump, jump. Frameship drive charging. I'm gonna do a little more combat and get a little more money, and uh, another video I'll take you guys into the extraction sites. There's a lot of police protection in the extraction sites, so you can make some decent money. And if you're careful in a, in a smaller ship, you can make decent money too. But that'll buy my asp. Get it upgraded. Let's see, where the hell am I going? Black Mausoleum. Whoops. All right, Black Mausoleum's locked on. I'm not going to check out any unidentified signal sources at this time. Let's see if we can get out of the uh, path of the sun here before we burn up. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop. 
disengaged. Oh yeah, I forgot. I just bought a fuel scoop. I was playing around with it. I gotta replace it for uh, for something else. Anyway, um, I do plan on doing some exploring. And the very first place I want to go is uh, Beetlejuice. Here, we got time. Whoops. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice actually isn't that far away. I mean, it's it's a long ways, but it's not as far as you might think. Oops. Got my controls backwards. There we go. Look at that line of systems I would have to jump through just to get from Beta Hydri to there. Does it show? It doesn't show my route, does it? I mean, it does show the route. It doesn't show uh, 500.89 light years. How many freaking jumps is that? Well, I know it shows somewhere. Oh, well. 114 jumps. If I get a better ship with a better frame drive, I could probably cut some jumps off of that. And that's why I was ex experimenting with the fuel scoop, so because there's no gas stations out there. Where's my base? Where's my base? Stevenson base. Black Mausoleum. There it is. So that's going to be my exploration goal. And uh, I'll probably take the shortest route and try to get there. And then I'll take some uh, cartographic equipment and just scan everything. And then on the way back, I will pick out certain systems to scan. I'll probably scan all the suns since you're sitting right in front of it. But uh, I think it would take hours and hours and hours to scan every single planet and every single system. But I still have to upgrade my, uh, my ASP once I buy it. So that is just something else to be taken into consideration. One point, I think it's on the other side of the planet. That's a very inconvenient. Yeah, okay. It's a good thing I didn't head right for it. Would have ran into the damn planet. A lot of uh, a lot of bad things can happen. I mean, some of these suns are extremely hot because you, you jump right to the sun, and if the sun is extremely hot, you can start taking uh, taking damage right when you jump in. And then some suns aren't hot enough, so you can't scoop fuel off them. So, if there's no uh, stations anywhere, then you could easily find yourself stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there was actually. I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, warp in here first. I got it. I got it. It was close, but I got it. Ah, 
105 kilometers. Not as close as I would have liked. Drive charging. My own mistake. Four, three, yeah, I said I've been playing a lot. Two, I didn't say it was like one, excellent. Engage. I haven't been playing that long. But now it's all good. Oh, come on. There we go. I got him now. I'm gonna take a quick look at the galaxy map again to show that route. Way, way, way over here. Let's see, we're not even halfway there. Uh, Oh my god, this is so far away. Beetlejuice. Okay, you see how far away that is? Now, let me zoom out. In the freaking Milky Way galaxy, we're like right next to Beetlejuice. This place is freaking huge, man. It would be so cool like to fly through the core to the other side. Wouldn't that be bad as hell? See, this random star is 51,000 light years away. That's insane. I wonder how many jumps that would be. There we go. Now you want to enter on the side of the green light. If that's not completely apparent. Alright, alright. 28. This one's got like hydroponics, you know, it's got trees and stuff. I think it's bad as hell. Yeah, I put it down a little hard, but that's all right. Go ahead and refuel, and oh, I don't need this. Yeah, I need the uh, bulletin board. Collect the twenty-two thousand on the bulletin board, and gained a little bit of reputation. Looks like. Beta Hydri movement, reputation is a plus, still neutral. Oh, Crimson Fortune Industries. Oh, I didn't, uh, I was shooting the wrong guys. Well, that's all right. Don't really like them anyway. No big deal. But it's got a reputation system as well. So this shows here in the Federation, I am uh, rank petty officer, considered allied. Haven't uh, been to one Empire planet. I don't even have no clue where an Alliance planet is. Absolutely none. And that shows the individual factions in the system. And every system has their own factions. It's an awesome freaking game, man. You guys, you, you got to pick it up. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap the game up here and uh, check back with me later on. I have another video for you. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.